What's up guys, Tao here. First of all, I do apologize if you don't like these bright red hoodies I'm wearing right now. Lately, I wear these quite a lot. Um, for this video, the case is black. If I wear black hoodies, looks like I'm blending as part of the case. So I want some high contrasty uh, colors. So yeah, if you don't like, I'm sorry. Maybe I need more new clothes. Today's video, let's talk about M.2 SSDs and M.2 SSD slot on the motherboard. Whether you are pros or you are just starting out to build your first PC, um, it is very, very good to know not all the SS M.2 SSDs you can plug into any of the M.2 SSD slot, especially if you have multiple M.2 slot. Um, there are some conflicts, maybe there are some conflicts depending on the motherboard, um, they share on different bandwidth, PCIe and SATA based SSD for example uh, this one, they use a different bandwidth. So I think it's good to refresh if you are pro, it's good to know if you're just starting out. Right, first of all, how can you tell which one is M.2 SATA based and M.2 PCIe based? Well, this is the giveaway, is the NVMe, but now this is not the scientific way to tell the difference between them. And this is PCIe based. You can see there's only one cutout. Now this one, this one is got two cutouts. Is SATA based M.2 SSD. Now this is, uh, I think, it's quickest way to distinguish what is the difference between the PCIe based and the SATA based. Now, not very scientific, but this is the easy way. Now, for the motherboard, uh, most of the motherboard, the ATX ones nowadays, they will have at least two M.2 SSD slots. Uh, this one I have here is Gigabit Z370 Aura's Ultra Gaming. It's quite, it's a little bit old now, but works perfectly. It has two M.2 slots. One is directly below the heatsink here and the other one is right between the PCIe slot. Now, very, very importantly, if you have a low to low storage, um, two and a half inch drive, three and a half inch drives, and full of P uh, M.2 SSDs, it's very important that some of the motherboard, not all of them, some of the motherboard sharing the SATA bandwidth with the M.2 slot. For example, my motherboard, this particular one, it has four SATA connector here, and just happened to the SATA zero and sharing the same bandwidth with this particular M.2 slot. Now, for example, um, if you if you put this SATA based M.2 in there, it will share both. It will share the same SATA bandwidth, so that means it will affect the performance. Technically, you can't actually use the two at the same time if you plug the SATA SSD and use the SATA zero port. However, if you use the PCIe based within the same slot, that is not a problem at all because this M.2 slot will recognize the PCIe based and the SATA based. So it just bear in mind, if you use SATA 0 and SATA based M.2 with this slot, that will affect the performance or you cannot use two at the same time. So if you are building a brand new rig, if you have low to low storage, I strongly suggest you have read the manual and make sure there's no conflict between the SATA bandwidth and that particular certain M.2 SSD. Now this will apply to all the motherboard. Um, a lot of the motherboards do the same, so they share in the bandwidth. Um, some of the high-end ones, they have dedicated uh, bandwidth just for SATA or just for PCI EM.2 SSD. All right, that's it. Hopefully this very short video helped you guys who are out there, either you are pro or just starting to build a computer. And this is quite uh, fundamental, but sometimes quite important, but we just forget about it. And if you like the video, click the like and don't forget, subscribe. I'm sorry again if you don't like it. And see you in the next video. Need to buy some new clothes.